Hello everyone, my name is Patrick and welcome to Lang Arcade, a channel where I combine my love for teaching English with my passion for playing video games. Today, we are going to be playing Banjo-Kazooie to learn the names of the four seasons in English. We will also learn how to say activities that we like, as well as a few new seasonal vocabulary words for each season. Are you ready? Let's level up your English. Today's lesson is a level one lesson. That means it's really good for beginner learners of English. But I'm sure learners of any level will learn something new here today. If you like this kind of thing, playing video games, learning English, hit the subscribe button so that way you will get notified anytime I post a new video. In the United States, our year is divided into four seasons. That is due to the relationship of the Earth and the Sun in outer space. In the video game Banjo-Kazooie, there is a world where you have to play through the four seasons. It's a very difficult world. It is the last world in the entire game, but it is one of my favorite worlds. Let's go head up there now. Here are all the words we will work with in this video. Take a screenshot so you can easily study all the words. This is a long video and is split into four parts. It might be easier to watch the video all at once or one part at a time. You might want to watch the video a few times to learn everything. Banjo's sister Tootie has been kidnapped by the evil witch Gruntilda. Banjo must collect puzzle pieces throughout Gruntilda's tower by entering worlds and solving puzzles and problems. The world we are heading to is called Click Clock Wood and it is at the top of Gruntilda's tower. We finally made it. What a climb. When you enter the world, you can see the four seasons of the year. Each season has a door for you to enter. They all look so colorful and unique. This is the one we have to enter first. Uh-oh, I think I need an umbrella. Yep, in this world, it is raining. However, the weather isn't very cold and it isn't very hot either. It is very pleasant and cool outside. This must be spring. In the United States, spring mostly takes place in these three months. The months are March, April, and May. It rains a lot in the spring. Because of this, everything is so green and the river is full. When it rains a little, we sometimes say, it is drizzling out. When it rains a lot, we like to say, it is pouring raining outside. Right now, it's only drizzling. Because it rains so much in the spring, Banjo and Kazooie like to stay inside where it's nice and dry. Banjo likes to sleep a lot. He also likes to make food. Hmm, what are you cooking, Banjo? Banjo and Kazooie both love to play video games. What do you like to do when it's raining? It rains a lot in the spring because flowers and trees need water to grow. That's not how that works, Banjo. The bees also come back in the spring. Look how cute Banjo is as a little bee. The bees are hard at work making honey and making sure the flowers grow each spring. In the spring, you can see more squirrels running around during the day. Squirrels love to eat acorns. This squirrel better not eat all of those or he will get sick. Okay, I think we've learned enough about spring. Let's review a little of what we learned. Do you remember the name of this season? That's right, it's spring.
And what's the weather like in spring? Yes, it rains a lot. And because it's raining all the time, Banjo and Kazooie like to stay inside. What three activities did Banjo and Kazooie like to do? Yes, they like to sleep and make food and play video games. Do you remember the months that are in spring? March, April, and May. Very good. Whew, is it getting hot in here? I think we're ready to go to the next season. Let's go. It definitely got warmer in here. And can you hear that noise? It sounds like in this season, the bees are still working hard. Wow, the grass definitely got taller. But where did the green go? It must not have rained here in a while because everything is yellow and dry. This must be summer. In the United States, the summer mostly takes place in these three months. There's June, July, and August. The weather is very sunny. When it is sunny out, but not too hot, we say it's warm out. When it's very hot out, we say it's scorching out or it's brutal out. Sometimes there are bad thunder and lightning storms in the summer too. Sometimes when there is too much sun and not enough rain, there's a drought. This means there isn't enough water. Look what happened to our nice river. It looks like Mambo needs a vacation. There are many fun activities you can do in the summer when it's hot out. You can go to the beach and relax in the warm sun. Banjo and Kazooie love to swim in the ocean. Oh no, watch out for that shark, Banjo. Phew, safe on the beach. Let's make a sandcastle. Flowers need a lot of water in the summer. Let's help this flower grow by giving it some water. Poor camel. Let's visit the bees and see what they are up to in the summer. Banjo, that wasn't a nice way to enter someone's home. It looks like the bees are still very hard at work making sweet honey. Banjo better watch out. The bees are very protective of their honey. He might get stung. I told you, Banjo, you better get out of there. Let's visit our squirrel friend. Oh no, he ate all of his acorns. How will he survive the winter? Before we move on, let's review a little bit to practice what we've learned. Do you remember the name of this season? It's summer. And what's the weather like in summer? Yes, it's very hot. And sometimes it can thunderstorm. What do Banjo and Kazooie like to do in the summer? That's right. They like to go to the beach, build sand castles, swim in the ocean, and relax. Do you like to relax in the summer on the beach? Wow, look how colorful the trees are. Do you know what season this is? It's fall. Everything is so pretty. Do you see the leaves that are falling? That is because it's a little windy. The wind causes the leaves to blow around. In the fall, the weather is cool. This means it's not too hot and not too cold. It is perfect out. Now in the United States, we like to call this season fall. But the official word for this season is autumn. You can call it fall or autumn. Either is okay. Now, the months that mostly fall in the fall season are September, October, and November. 
In the fall, the leaves change color and fall to the ground. Look at this big pile of leaves. Up we go, Banjo. In the fall, we have to clean the leaves by raking them into big piles. In the United States, October is a spooky month. We like to have fun by doing spooky things. Spooky is another word for scary. We visit haunted houses. Run, Banjo, a bat! We tell stories with monsters in them, like this scary monster and skeleton. And we read stories with creepy ghosts, ugly creatures, and terrifying mummies. Let's get out of here! We also like to wear spooky costumes. Look how cute Banjo is as a little pumpkin. We then go to people's houses and shout, Trick or treat! This is a fun way to get free candy once a year. Let's go visit our squirrel friend and see if he found more acorns. Remember he ate them all in the summer? That little piggy. It looks like our friend needs six more acorns. We can help him. Look, there's some up here. Let's get them. Here are your acorns, friend. Don't cry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our friend gave us a little gift because we helped him. Let's go inside and see all of his acorns. Yep, looks like he's ready for winter and so are we. Come on. Okay, let's review. Do you remember the name of this season? That's right, it's fall or autumn. And what's the weather like in fall? That's right, it's perfect. Everything is nice and cool outside. It's not too hot, not too cold. What three months fall mostly in fall? September, October, and November. And what are some activities that we can do in the fall? We can rake the leaves. Oh, don't like doing that. We can collect acorns for the squirrels. And we can go trick-or-treating and ask people for candy. That's my favorite. Dressing up in a nice spooky costume. Fall is my absolute favorite season of the year. But I think it's time we head towards our last season. Look, it's snowing. Everything is covered in snow. This must be winter. Brrr, it's freezing out. That is what we say when the weather is very cold. The world looks really different now. The snow is very cold, but very beautiful. During the calendar year, the months that mostly make up winter are December, January, and February. Winter can be a very fun season. When it snows a lot, you can make a snowman out of the snow. This snowman has a hat. Whoops. You can also go sledding and slide down a snowy hill. That looks like fun. This snowman is very grumpy. It is throwing snowballs at poor Banjo and Kazooie. Watch out! Let's go visit our squirrel friend. Squirrels like to stay inside during the winter. It is a good thing he has all of his acorns. Otherwise, the winter is too cold for our friend to find them now. You two broke his window! That wasn't very friendly, Banjo and Kazooie. Ooh, this house feels warm and cozy. Cozy is another word for really comfortable. 
It looks like our squirrel friend is fast asleep. We'll see you in the spring. It looks like our bee friends are gone. Don't worry, they will be back making honey in the spring. Our flower doesn't look too well. Don't worry though, it will be back in the spring too. In the winter, we celebrate the holidays. We decorate trees with many colorful lights. Look how pretty. We also give presents to people that we love. I wonder what Banjo got these three little bears. Maybe it's some honey. It's time to review. What was the name of this season again? That's right, winter. And what months fall in winter? December, January, February. What's the weather like in winter? That's right, it's freezing in winter. It also snows a lot too. But when it snows, the world becomes beautiful. What are some winter activities that we can do? That's right, we can celebrate the holidays. We can give presents. We can slide down snow hills. And we can also build snowmen. Hopefully not grumpy snowmen who like to throw snowballs at us. Wow, we've made it. The four seasons of the year. That was so much fun. I love playing this world in Banjo-Kazooie. Here is a list of all the vocabulary words that we learned in today's lesson. It is important to know that the beginning month for each season is also part of the season that came before it. For example, March is in both winter and spring. June is part of spring and summer. September is in both summer and fall. And December is part of fall and winter. What is your favorite season? What do you like to do in each season? If you liked today's lesson, like and subscribe to Lang Arcade. Thank you for watching, learning, and gaming, and I'll see you next time. Bye.